sick and in bed. Um, she just listened to Justin Bieber's music over and over again, and it would lift her spirits. But tonight, a Springfield teen with a mental disability says she was tricked by a man who convinced her online that he was Justin Bieber. First on two, Alexa Ashwell talks with the young fan about the deception. Well, Katie, right now, deputies in Clark County are working with authorities in Arlington, Texas. That's where they say this man lives. Investigators say what he did was not only cruel, but an example of how dangerous the Internet can be. It was after this Justin Bieber concert that Springfield teen Carly Tomlinson got to meet her favorite pop idol. Carly, what was it like meeting Justin Bieber? It was amazing. At just 17, Carly has endured many hardships. She's battled cancer and won, has had a hip replacement, and lives with a mental disability. When she was so sick and in bed, um, she just listened to Justin Bieber's music over and over again, and it would lift her spirits. It wasn't until after the concert that Jeannie became concerned. Carly told her mom she'd been texting with Justin Bieber for quite some time. Jeannie didn't believe it. So I said, well, I, I want to see your phone. One look at the messages, and Jeannie says she knew her daughter was being lured by someone else, someone she calls a predator. And they were getting sexually explicit, asking her what would be her wildest dreams if they were ever alone. Jeannie tracked the number to a 40-year-old man in Texas, then went to the Clark County Sheriff's Office. He was least investigated in 1995 for uh, indecency with a child. She didn't know if he was convicted of or even went to court. Deputies say this isn't enough to file any charges here, but should be a lesson to all parents and children. If you suspect something's going on, follow that intuition and follow up on it. Check your child's Facebook page, check their test text messages. And investigators want to remind parents, monitor your child's activity on social media. The investigation is ongoing. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.